G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you don't have a slow cooker by now, I highly recommend that you buy one. They're so convenient and make food taste so yummy. You put the food on in the morning and it's ready by the time you get home. So join me today as I make my version of a herb infused roast. Okay, so we're going to start this recipe off by making the sauce that goes on the roast beef. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to pour in two cups of red wine. And if you're worried about the alcohol content, especially with kids, don't worry because by the time it's finished cooking, there'll be no alcohol left. Next, two cans of diced tomatoes, which is 400 grams per can. So 800 grams. Then one cup of beef stock. Then a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And as always, the ingredients are listed in the description. Then a tablespoon of rosemary, a tablespoon of oregano, a tablespoon of basil, a tablespoon of thyme, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're just going to slowly whisk this just to combine all the ingredients. Okay, now for these final steps, we're going to use a slow cooker. Now I highly recommend that you buy one, they're very cheap and you will love them. Because the best part about this is, you can prepare dinner in the morning, as we're doing right now, and serve it up for dinner. So next into the bottom of the slow cooker, I'm going to cut up one onion, so, and I've just cut it up into rings. So half the onion we're going to place on the base. Then onto that, our main ingredient, our roast. That's a beef roast. And that's about one to one and a half kilos worth. And just give it a quick season with some salt and some pepper. I'll place the rest of the onion on top. Then I've got three cloves of garlic that I've just roughly chopped up. Just place those on top as well. And finally we're going to get our wet mixture and just slowly pour it on top. Now it certainly doesn't look the best but all these flavors are going to infuse beautifully and this will taste fantastic. So now all we have to do is place on the lid. Okay, so we're going to place that on high and we're going to let that slow cook away for eight hours. Okay, so it's been eight hours, so let's have a look. Ooh, yum, yum. And if you have a slow cooker, you will know the best part about this is when you come home, the smell. Oh my, the smell. Just walking up to the front door today, I could smell this from outside. It was delicious. And when I came inside, you could smell all those lovely herbs all throughout the house. But just look at this. Just look how that pulls apart. Oh, that means it's done to perfection. Yummy. Now you can choose whatever size that you like, of course. If you want to do some roast vegetables and pumpkin, then go for it. Personally, I'm just going to add some steamed vegetables. But the main thing is, let's see what it's like. You can add as little or as much sauce as you like to this, of course. There's a lot more still in the pot, but let's try it. Yes, all I can say is yes. <laughs> that meat is so, so moist. It is thoroughly cooked, but incredibly moist. It actually feels like it's melting in your mouth. That is one of the best parts about using a slow cooker. Because every time you slow cook meat, it doesn't matter how tough the meat could be, after eight hours in a slow cooker, it's gonna taste simply delish. So if you don't have a slow cooker, invest in one. They are very cheap to buy. It is definitely one of those home appliances I know you'll thank me for. Because there's nothing easier than quickly preparing dinner before you leave for work and coming home from work and finding it ready. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Home Handy Hints channel where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.